Very good morning dear children. Welcome back. Today I am going to tell you the story from the Enid Blyden series The Mountain of Adventures. The plan is for everyone to go camping for a few days. But Mrs. Mannering hurts her hand and Bill stays with her so he can take her to the doctors. This means the children go off on the donkeys with David. As said, he is rather useless and they quickly find themselves lost. They make camp and that night see a pack of wolves roaming the valley. David is terrified and runs off, taking all but one of the donkeys with him. The wolves turn out to be Alsatians and it is only thanks to Philip's skill with animals that the pack is friendly to them. Lucy and spots Sam hiding and he tells her there are bad men in the mountain. He is then caught by the Alsatians and Philip is too. The other children find their way into the mountain after seeing a helicopter landing on top of it and inside they find a bizarre world. They must find their way from a cave which seems to contain nothing but a black pool. Through miles of past passages way, caves, galleries, through a throne room, past a pit with excludes strange lights and smoke and a laboratory full of frightening glass fires and wires. The children end up getting caught and are taken to meet the so-called king of the mountain. He is rather mad old scientist who thinks he can create anti-gravity wings. Mir and Erlek are working with him, organizing groups of ex-paratroopers like Sam to test out the wings from the helicopter. They plan to use Philip next as he is nice and light. Bravely, Philip accepts his fate but when the helicopter takes him up the pilot, shouts back, don't forget Bill's marks. With Bill on the case of course things end well, but it's not easy and for a while it's looked like it might not work out happily. Philip adopts a baby goat from the Evans farm, who Mrs. Evans says is called Snowy. He is a boisterous little thing who likes to head but the children and he is very sure footed. Philip also finds a slow warm which he calls Sally Slither and surprisingly Dina much prefers Snowy to Sally. Thank you children. See you in the next module.